Good morning. <laughs> Today is Sunday and I am about to take Sage to go get washed. I actually just shaved her down a lot because she was getting too fluffy. And it's also getting hotter outside. It's about 81 degrees today. Um, so because her coat is so thick, I like to shave her down in the summertime so she can kind of like breathe and won't get so overheated. Now that she's gotten a lot bigger, I no longer wash her at home in my, my shower because my shower is no longer big enough for her. <laughs> I take her to a pet store and they have, most pet stores for the most part, well for the most part, have like self washing stations. So I wash her there, it's big enough for her. And they also provide the soap and the conditioner. So it just works out, it's $10 every. So in the winter time I do every two months. And then in the summertime I do every month. Um, because in the winter time it's not hot, she's not sweating that much so it's not that bad. But because her coat is so thick in the summertime, she starts to smell and I don't like the smell of dog in my house. <laughs> so I'm about to take her, look at her. I shaved her down a, a lot. She's less fluffy. I feel like I did a decent job, you know. Call me Groomer Ash. She's such a happy dog. Say hi, sweetness. No, no, sit down. Look at her. people it is Friday <laughs> it's Friday I'm sorry I'm trying to cover my shirt because I have on an old work shirt from like a company I used to work for before and we don't do free advertising out here so <laughs> I'm trying to like make sure that I'm covered <sighs> covered by the blood covered by the Holy Spirit but it's Friday the weekend is here my friends are off so you already know what's about to happen this weekend's about to be it's not gonna be a movie because i'm old <laughs> but it's gonna be like a series <laughs> it's gonna be like a, a tv show it's not gonna be a movie you know we're not going to the clubs my friend and i are actually having a pool day which I'm excited about because I've been wanting to go to the pool for the longest. Um, the only thing, yeah, we're going to have a pool. We're having a pool day. Um, so I'm excited about that. We were at initially going to grill. Because it's the like first time going to the pool, we just want to relax. So we're going to just get some food. I'm making a charcuterie reward tomorrow, which I'm really trying to figure out whether I want to leave the house tonight to go get the stuff or get it tomorrow morning before I head out. And then just kind of make it at her house because it's not hard to make a charcuterie board it's very easy she's getting like chicken i want a hawaiian roll because we can't you can't get public smell of chicken with that whole iron roll like absolutely not and then we're gonna have bottles of wine and just have a good time like i just want to have a girl's day because this week for me in particular has been a trying one do i want to say why we're just going to talk about it I, since I'm on a healing journey, I'm in a space of protecting, I'm in a space of protecting my energy and peace because although I am on a healing journey and I feel very much whole, I still have moments where it's kind of like a give and take. <laughs> I'm trying not to revert back to my previous self. Um, one who was filled with anger, who wasn't very communicative, who was very like, I wouldn't say that I was bitter, but I would say that I was holding on to a lot of like negative things. Um, and within the last few weeks in particular, I've had to let a lot of people out of my life go because it's just like the ways in which me trying to refine myself and redefine who I am as not only, um, 
Ashley, but just as a woman and the type of woman that I want to be, um, <laughs> just not trying to show this shirt. I just have to be very intentional about the people I let around me because I don't want to have instances where I am behaving in ways that are not, um, just behaving in ways that are just not beneficial to me. And I've had to block a lot of people because like, I just don't want to go back into the old angry Ashley. I really am at peace with my life. And I, I want to continuously have a life of ease. I want to have a life that is just peaceful. Um, so this week in particular, when I had to do it this time around, it was a lot harder for me because this person, it's not someone I'm close to, but it was really just a, me having to sit in this moment of damn <laughs> or dang. Is this what it's going to be like to have to sit in the fact that people who I thought were going to be in my life for a long time and people that I thought I was going to continuously grow with and live with are not going to be around? Is this what it's going to mean to continuously have to protect my boundaries? And, and am I going to have to lose people in order to keep my boundaries in place? And at this moment, of where I am yes will it always be this way probably not because I will learn but when you are so used to being in survival mode which I have been for many years now that I am learning how to deal with my emotions in a healthier way because I never really dealt with them when I was a kid I kind of just lashed and moved about my business um I really had to start being a lot more um I have to be start being a lot more intentional about what's happening around me and the people I let in my space and how I let them into my space. So this week in particular, I literally shut out the entire world. Only thing I did this week was post my videos on Instagram and then I would delete the app and get off. Like I wouldn't even linger on it too long, right? Um, and this week I, I, I literally was sitting with God this week and he dealt with me. <laughs> when I say he dealt with me, he dealt with me. Like this week I, I had to sit in silence and learn like, okay, now that I'm tackling this part of my life, like what do I need to work on in myself? I told God like, have you with me and deal with me because like I need you to deal with me because this is a tough one. And he dealt with me this week. He told me about myself this week and I, especially this morning in particular, I cried a lot this morning because I was just like feeling a way about certain things. But then I came to the realization that this is just the season that I'm in for now and it's not necessarily that it's going to last forever, but it is where I am right now. And if people cannot respect what I'm asking them, I'm asking of them, they're completely in their right state to say absolutely not or do whatever they're doing they're completely entitled to that but i am also entitled to remove you and place you where you need to be but i am trying my hardest to be better um so that's kind of what's been going on with me this week um i don't know if that's gonna help anyone but i do want to start like i said being consistent in this and sharing my life so i'm going to be posting every week i'm going to be picking up my camera every week i'm going to be editing every week um, and posting stuff. Sometimes I'll be cooking videos. Sometimes I'm going to try to post more sporadically throughout the week. Sometimes I'll be cooking videos. Sometimes they'll be shorts. Sometimes they'll be vlogs. Sometimes they'll be outfit like try ons and stuff like that. But I really want to get into the swing of just like getting back to me because this is what I was doing before everything in my life just kind of just started happening and took me away from the things I was passionate about. I am really trying to just like enjoy the things I'm passionate about so there's that um you guys have a wonderful day I will see you tomorrow I'm going to charge my camera edit this content I need to get a new laptop <laughs> but yeah you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow good morning it's really afternoon I am heading all the way to Atlanta well it's, it's like past Atlanta. <laughs> but I am heading to Atlanta. I'm trying to fix my shirt because, or my dress. That's better. I'm heading to Atlanta. I'm going to have a pool day with my girl. And I need to head to Audi maybe to get some stuff to make charcuterie. 
and then I'm gonna head to our house, set it up, and then we are gonna go from there. So I will see you guys in the next 30 to an hour. I don't know. Yeah. So I've made it to Audi five hours later. <laughs> and I'm trying to get some stuff. Let's see what they have. So they have cheese. Don't want that. Don't want that. Okay, so let's get some salami. That's good. Put that in here. Um Okay, y'all, so I am, these glasses, they are so old. <laughs> I need to get new glasses for my car. But new, new shades for my car. However, I just left Audi. I really did not film a lot in there, only because like I was trying to get out of there really quickly. The line was long, and I'm already, it's five o'clock. <laughs> so I was in traffic for about three hours, so I'm tired. So I'm ready to get off the road. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get this stuff real quick. I got strawberries, almonds, olives salami and crackers i believe and then i have two things of jelly uh, flavored jelly so i'm gonna put that on there as well um that i bought for my house and then that's pretty much how we're gonna do it today so i will talk to you guys once i get there and i start setting it up and i'll show you guys what i'm doing then we're gonna go to the pool and life is gonna be great i have a headache <laughs> i'm irritated so i'm ready to get out of this car y'all i've been driving for about three hours anyways bye Is it Ashley for real or is it Ash? Same thing. She giving you her name. Ashley Ash. Jr. <laughs> We're definitely related because we got the same. <laughs> Why are you so petty? Smile for the camera. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you are like, me. I like my food. You're definitely me, you know? I should my shade with my glasses. No? They were right upstairs in the room. We're having a whole picnic right now. Yay. This is what I'm going to tell you. I'm really vlogging, yo. I had vlogging so long and I'm really doing this again. This is so great. I have really high. High, high. I don't even know where this comes from. It's so annoying. You're high and hot? No, 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 no. Like, I have really high, I would not say standards, but a high, like, taste. Very I mean, expensive taste. And I wish that I could afford my taste. <laughs> That's the problem. I need to be able to afford my taste. Stop it. No, it's just a piece of stuff. I'm not there yet. Almost there. Things are, and it's getting more and more expensive. I don't know. I can't We've been through a lot in our lifetime. Just think about it. Us millennials? Yeah. A lot. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh, that was a fresh bottle. I, yeah, I, but what? It's never done that before. Maybe we're trying to show out today. <laughs> no. I felt a little bougie uh, with it, okay. These glasses are so, these are from Ikea? Yeah. It was yeah. you that told me about them, okay. Yeah. These yeah. are so cute. Do they have longer ones? I, I think they what's they did. Like the only ones I thought, I thought it was just shape-wise, because I want to say the other one was what? Like the Olivia Poop type one, what they said. That's the one my mother-in-law got here, the Olivia Poop one. Yeah, this smells so good. That's wild. But it's crazy how wine smells one way um, and tastes another way. Yeah. Do you know wine tasting pots? 
I'm gonna just put this in the bag. Where would it be? Where do they have them? Um, they have one in Atlanta. Oh, oh look at me, so dwarfs. So we're sitting outside, chilling, vibing by the pool. It's so cute out here. Like, I'm ready back to move back. I'm ready to move into an apartment. I'm tired of living in a house. Like, this is so beautiful. I love. So cute. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.